Will Tesla robot taxi change the future of transportation? We're going to discuss this tech disruption. As we know, Tesla, an EV electric vehicle company, the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, just announced and showcased his prototype CyberCab on 10th of October. So the question is, whether this will be a reality in the coming future or it's just a sci-fi dream. So X uh, has been a driver, so maybe you can share your opinion if this is a possibility to become a reality soon. Yeah, so cyber cab, right? Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a reality, uh, not really soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe the implementation will take time mm -hmm. um, because AI, artificial intelligence, I wouldn't say it's perfect yet because there are certain things on the road, uh, certain intricacies like construction on the road or maybe cyclists or motorcyclists or uh, trucks, lorries, right? They are all play a very dynamic role on the road and I believe AI uh, needs to be able to detect that and be able to do certain maneuvers in, you know, to avoid crashes or accidents, right? Mm. So important part is safety right here. Mm. What Elon Musk share is that he will equip the Tesla car with this self-driving technology. So, and then it will be joining the robot taxi network, meaning people who own Tesla, they can uh, rent out their car and earn extra income. So this sounds very good to be true, but uh, in fact, many people think this lacks of clarity and lack of the clear timeline because this is not the first time he mentioned about a self-driving car, right? So I understand there are many concerns and challenges. Uh, what do you think uh, will be the main field challenges for having this robot taxi, by the way? Yeah, like I said before, uh, artificial intelligence need to be able to de detect the intricacies in the road. <laughs> um, and also the regulations have to be there in place in case uh, accidents happen right mm -hmm. then who is to blame and how is the claiming of the insurance uh, and what's the uh, next step in terms of uh, regulatory use or the law yeah i agree so so for example if accident happen should we blame the tesla car owner or who will be paying uh, for this claim? I, I'm, I'm sure the insurance company may not be willing to do it, right? But this is taking time so for the government and uh, insurance company to discuss. But for my personal view, I, I think the idea of having robot taxi is great uh, because it's it going to bring a lot of benefits to the society. What do you think in this point? Yeah, of course. Um, you imagine you're owning a car that can earn you money when you are sleeping or maybe when you are working, right? Mm -hmm. So early morning when you wake up, uh, you go to work and you park it at the office and your taxi can just drive it. Uh, the, your Tesla can just go around, fetch people, you know, bring people here point, from point A to point B while you are working and making you money. Mm -hmm. And when you go home after using the car, mm -hmm. the car can actually work for you when you are sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. From like 6 p.m to 6 a.m. the next morning. Mm -hmm. So that's like 12 hours of uh, moving around and uh, doing, working for you. So it's like a passive income kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, it like fully utilized the use case of a car. There are also many people like Uber or taxi driver that they actually drive uh, as full-time driver. So will this uh, impact a lot of job opportunity for this driver and, and what can be better be prepared? In terms of job opportunities, I wouldn't say it'll be like super fast because like I said, the implementation of AI, it takes time, mm -hmm. regulatory uh, and also the AI itself. And there are not many autonom self-autonomous vehicles yet on mm -hmm. the road. In that type of uh, timeline, the, the drivers will be able to find other jobs, you know, other, other ways or other careers actually. Then... Yeah, I mean, there are so many cars on the road that aren't mm. aut autonomous yet. So mm. we still have uh, like a fair amount of jobs, you know, <laughs> for people to transport people around like a driver. Yeah, I think a driver is still necessary at this stage. So when you say 10 to 20 years, it's really long because what Elon Musk is trying to say in the next two years, uh, they will start producing this cyber cap. So 
that's why people are still speculating whether it is going to be true or not because he has already mentioned this in 2020. There are also some benefit like maybe uh, in terms of time, convenience and traffic jam. Do you think it will help? Of course, of course. If you have a self-autonomous vehicle, right, you can sit down in the car and let the car self-drive itself. Yeah. You can read a book, you can uh, play games, mm. scroll on social media, you know, you know, do other stuff, or maybe even work in a in a in your own car. So it's it's definitely a time saver, and time is uh, very very precious in this in this era, uh -huh. whereby every everyone is busy with everything, and yeah, everyone just have 24 hours, right? Mm. So it it'll be very cool to save a lot of time while. Uh, on your commute to work or in traffic really yeah mm, that, that's good uh, but of course uh, as you mentioned earlier uh, safety is still a concern so imagine if you are a passenger do you dare to sit into the car without a human driver can you imagine that yeah of course um, as a driver myself obviously I'll be a, a bit spooked out at first but like all things technology, it takes time to be uh, implemented and once it's already safe and everyone is using it, I believe to be able to get used to it, you know, it takes just a few drives, then you, you'll be okay. I, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I still cannot uh, imagine I'm sitting there. But definitely, uh, as you say, I can save a lot of time while working or whatever, or maybe I own a car and earn extra income. <laughs> Okay, that's a good idea. But in terms of the challenges, um, um, there are people, a lot of opinions, right, honestly. Like people will say that uh, Elon Musk should invest a bit more in developing uh, infrastructure, like just to have a uh, lane specialized for this autonomous car. But also there are other competitors are doing the same thing. So what do you think about uh, this point, like having a special lane? I think having a special lane is not necessary. And Cities like Tokyo, right, for example, they, they, the roads are already uh, set in stone and to, to be able to like create a special lane for it, it'll be just very tough in terms of infrastructure because mm. infrastructure, to, to create infrastructure is very expensive. It takes a lot of investment, right? Yeah. And then um, obviously if you have an AI, might as well you beef up the AI, make it really good mm -hmm. and it can go on normal roads right so mm -hmm. the implementation is faster much more efficient and it can be driven alongside cars with actual drivers right yeah and um, yeah, I think that would be ideal to, to have the car with human drivers cars uh, on the same roads it's just that uh, people are having concerns especially the investor they are disappointed uh, with this announcement because they are still unsure how actually to implement it. That, that's the main point, right? To implement the AI into this. It's still in the prototype stage. So that's why uh, we can see that uh, Tesla stock has just dropped over 8% over the week while Uber, uh, their stock price increased. So it's like they are competitors, right? If you are an investor, would you reinvest in Tesla because of their mission right now or you will just uh, wait for a while to see what's going to happen? As an investor, I would see view Tesla still as a technology company, right? They are, they are obviously creating really good cars, electric vehicles mm -hmm. that are very efficient mm -hmm. and of course improving the batteries as well mm -hmm. and also the self-autonomous uh, AI. Yeah, I, I would I would say as an investor, it'll take time, you know. Uh, if you're a long-term investor uh, for the next 10, 20 years, yeah, definitely go in. Okay. But if you are short-term, I believe to be yeah to be focused on uh, AI is a is a pipe dream, right? It's a, it takes time to implement, as you can see, and the past few years actually Elon Musk has bring up this self-autonomous thing uh, you know just just to bring hype to his uh, brand Tesla mm -hmm. yeah. and now they have this uh, cyber cyber taxi I, I would say it'll be here but maybe not too soon it'll mm -hmm. take a while to, to be implemented uh, around the world 
Okay, I, I think most people also believe that uh, it may not happen, but we really don't know. And its stock price is quite overpriced uh, at the high uh, over 60 times for the price to earning ratio, right? So compared to the industry, or even higher than Nvidia. So that's why uh, people are still are trying to reduce their stake in Tesla. But you can comment below to share your views uh, on this. That's it for discussion on Tesla. Um, do you have any other sharing with the audience? Um, as a driver myself, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that you, you will lose like your job or what. You, you uh -huh. cannot actually have uh, a lot more other jobs as a driver, right? Yeah. Like, um, like for example, car rentals, like moving certain cars. Because most cars right now are basically uh, you need a driver. And yeah. to, to the logistics of it, to bring uh, one car to another, to, 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 to do car rental, um, you know, and also to do like tours on the cars itself, like certain cars, like supercars or uh, JDM cars, uh, you, you, you also need a driver. Um, and you need that human touch as well and that security that, uh, you know, the, the driver knows his way around the roads the, of, of the city that they are in or maybe the place that they are in. Uh, it, it, it is still relevant in the next 10, 20 years, but mm -hmm. We'll, we'll see what technology can do in, to catch up in uh, because of the AI revolution. Yeah, I believe that's all from us. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, this discussion. Uh, if you like videos like this, please comment below so we can create more videos like this on uh, finance, uh, the markets, you know, and showing a beautiful view of uh, the Rainbow Bridge in Tokyo. <laughs> so thank you guys. Uh, thanks, thanks for being with us. Please subscribe, click a like, and that's it, guys. Yeah. Subscribe. Bye, please. This is the Rainbow